doubt crept in, and its weight was crushing. How to persist when the deck of cards is so cruelly stacked against you? I didn't know the answer, but maybe he does. Ingus, I have a task for you. Bring me the loot from every monster in RuneScape. If you somehow can pull this off, you just might find what it is you're looking for. My name is Ingus, and I'm going to loot every single monster in RuneScape. How many monsters are there? Well, no one actually knows. The only person who's done something similar is Eeviescape. There are over 600 unique monsters in old school RuneScape. A wolf, a bird, gardener, seal bird, solo mission. How much time are we talking to do this? Ballpark, it would be like close to 100 hours probably. <laughs> My best advice, don't do it. Second best advice, make sure you don't miss any, because let me tell you, you're going to get chewed up in the comments. Chewed up in the comments. There's only one complete list that I can find of every monster in the game. The bestiary. If you can attack it, it's on this list. Unfortunately, there's no way to sort which ones have a drop table. We're going to have to go through this list one by one. To help me keep track of everything, Goody developed a RuneLight plugin called one kill every time i kill a monster its name and combat level gets stored in this list as for the loot i'll be picking up every single drop that i receive and by the end of this video we'll have a loot tab that contains one drop from every single monster which leaves us with a couple questions how many lootable monsters are there and what lengths must i go to to track down all of them there's only one way to find out <laughs> All right, I'm here. I got my stamina potions, some teleports. Honestly, who knows how this is going to go. Okay, the time is rolling. Let's get started. I'm going straight for the level two man. Coins, some bones. What else we got? Woman, yep, let's get her. Bronze arrows and bones. Cross the bridge, there's a goblin. Take him out of the game. I am running out of inventory space. Gonna have to drop the stam. We already made a mistake. I forgot to pick up the bronze arrows. <laughs> this challenge is going to be harder than I thought. Apparently, I can't use this chest unless I do Fally Hard Diary. I'm not doing that. I guess we're just going to go to the GE. All right, first trade. I uh, got some bones, some beef, some chicken. 1,000 GP so far. All right, let's continue. Rats back here. Hey, who is this? What's this man doing? Oh, it looks like I've killed everything up here. Probably should be. All right, some bones. I think I'm going to focus on miscellaneous right now. All the citizens are level two. It's going to suck, though. Every death means my favor goes down. Every single death. Going on an absolute massacre. Oh, I thought you were safe in this house. Nope. The bones of every miscellaneous. Mount a terror bird gnome for number 30. I mean, it is a battlefield. What do you expect? Ooh, this right here is a big boy. Yo, okay, I think these guys count as well. Let's see. You beast. One down. Archer. That guy's just looking off into the distance. <laughs> right, I need to kill some gnome children. Come here, children. I feel like the plague coming to everyone's house. Dude, where are the children? <laughs> For the sacrifice. Gnome troop is dead. Aha. Some villagers near the mines. Hala. Gabala. Derek? Oh, you're lucky, sir. You are so lucky. I was about to kill you. This is a nice bench to watch the penguins. Yo, surely I can T-bow one of those. Yes, it worked. Oh, I can't get the loot, though. Okay, it's just a pair of bones. If I have any loot that I can't pick up for some reason, then I'm just gonna buy from the GE using my main account's money and add that to the pile. This has got to be the most uncommonly used bank of all time. These citizens are lucky. Tortured Soul actually drops. I, I didn't know that. I've never killed one of these. Undead cows. Next up is Enchanted Valley. I don't know if I've killed a level one rabbit. Let's go find out. Aha. Maybe it drops something and it'll be counted. Oh, yep. Oh, a stag as well. There are so many level ones and level two monsters. It's honestly crazy. Next up is the ram. The list right here is building up. And a level 21 guard for the 50th kill. Sorry, sir, but your time has come. I got a clue scroll. 
Another trade coming in. 1.6k. There's a few NPCs I'm going to skip for now and come back to, namely the Rabbit and Prif Dennis and the Entrana Firebird. I do not feel like banking my gear right now. Surprise, Anya! Hangle, I'm sorry. You're going to. Goodbye, buddy. There's actually two different Dark Wizards, level 7 and level 20. Johnny the Beard. Sorry, lady. You chose this life of violence. There are a lot of dupes. Undead cow, cow calf, cow calf, woman, woman railing 2.1k green wizard blue wizard air wizard fire wizard that's 80 one hour into this challenge and we are only at 82 monsters i actually don't know how many monsters there are this man's straight up stuck what about tebow surely tebow maybe nope found a level four man finally the body of a dead monkey that is so grim i got membership yo ham members would love to do what i'm doing 90 agility are you kidding me that is the 100th monster kill took an hour and 16 minutes at this pace i feel like we could get this done today but close to 100 hours bro. Close to 100. i have a feeling it's about to get much much worse but first war thunder intense combat incredibly detailed vehicle realistic graphics you are in control of the most powerful war machines of our time over 2500 tanks planes helicopters and ships for you to choose from every vehicle is intricately modeled down to its individual components giving war thunder one of the most sophisticated vehicle damage models in gaming in x-ray view you'll see precisely where the shell penetrated which components were affected and ultimately what led to the destruction of your vehicle with three distinct game modes and my personal favorite the in-depth customization with countless camouflages historical markings and decoration war thunder has something for everyone war thunder is free to play and is available on pc playstation or xbox all you have to do is sign up using my link in the pinned comment or video description you'll get a massive bonus pack if you're a new or returning player that hasn't played for at least six months we're talking multiple premium vehicles and an exclusive vehicle decorator eagle of valor plus a hundred thousand silver lions and seven days of a premium account this offer is available for a limited time only big thank you to war thunder for sponsoring this video time to wipe out the village of relica right here's a level three rooster the ones on miscellanea were level two here's an npc you've probably never heard of drunken man upstairs in the falador pub Burthorpe castle has anyone ever killed edberg wait edberg kind of thick this is the servant I hope he had a good life. Got to run out here for a bird, but may as well get this monkey guard out of the way as well. Aha, uh -huh. there are the boars. Dude, we're only on level five so far. This is crazy. We haven't even finished the first page. As expected, the loot is still nothing to write home about. But like I said, we're still on the first page. I just ran all the way down to the Mire Ditch Laboratory so I could kill a level 7 crawling hand. I can guarantee that no one has ever killed this on purpose. Ever since A Kingdom Divided came out, this little area has been in the game. I'm wondering if these guys will ever have a use in the quest. Finally, I got onto the Necromancer. The zombies kept aggroing me. Okay. Necromancer down, just need the Dark Warriors. I don't know if you can tell. I'm in the middle of Arceus and Lovacanes to actually kill this without getting aggroed by those other zombies. 6k, that's that's not too terrible. Level 9 Alcarid Warrior for number 150. It's a gamble. I'm basically doing Rag and Bone 3 <laughs> at this point. Level 44 guard found in the slave camp in the tourist trap quest. Oh, rowdy slave not in this mine we finally reached the end of the first page combat levels one through ten look at all this i mean fair enough some of these are dupes but still two hours and 13 <laughs> still got a long ways to go don't we Gave myself a nice little break. Timer has been reset. Some monsters only have one drop. And for these little scorpions, that is the insold scorpion head. Since the rules of the challenge are to get one loot from every lootable monster, I'm just going to kill these until I get that drop. Yeah, the monster won't even be counted if it drops nothing anyways. So next monster is an enraged boar. Unfortunately, you can't even kill this unless you are a group Iron Man. Normally, the portal is right here. I just so happen to have a group Iron Man account that I 
I can use to kill this and then drop the loot over to my main. Ice fiends are another weird one. They drop nothing sometimes, but the first drop you received is 19 coins. Invrigar the Necromancer. Now there is something interesting about this guy. Number one, he counts as a monster, but also there's a rare chance for him to spawn these summoned zombies. They only have one drop bones this level 25 skeleton is monster number 200 we are making progress level 14 thieves dead the ladder is not even marked on the map it's this one right here in the stone circle it's a little tricky to figure out how to get to oh wait there's a head thief here too well 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 it appears there's another scorpion grind ahead of us Oh, there we go. It turns out that the rock golem that spawns in the Enchanted Valley is only level 159. There's about 10 other variants and I can't do any of them unless I have a lower combat level. Same goes for the tree spirit and the river troll. I think it's fair to veto this one because I just don't have that many accounts to do this on. So if you're looking for a way to beat me at this challenge, there you go, I just told you how. Another hour 15 added on to the time that puts us at Three hours and 28 minutes so far. Next on the list is this level 18 Ice Fiend. Since I'm at the God Wars, I may as well just kill everything that is here. There's 49 monsters in total. Gonna take multiple trips because of the banking. Hey, we found something new, boys. Check it out. I'm damaging an aviancy with melee. All right, Melzar the Mad. Kill count is up to 257. Level 82 Lesser Demon in here as well. Picked up another eight monsters at the Arania Altar. I was in the area, so I decided to kill a black dragon here. 23k GP in loot. Okay, hold the phone. What is that? Nice, a collection log? Okay, I'll take it. I didn't ever plan to do this. Finally finished the levels 11 through 20. We have officially passed the five hour mark. It's starting to get real repetitive going down this list and checking everything twice. Hmm, a lynx. Can't say I've ever killed one of these before. They're near the Shazian area. Ah, the Draenor Jail Guard, classic killer of noobs. Black Unicorn Fowl for 300 monsters killed. I don't want to spoil how much money I've made during the finale video just yet. But if you want to find out, make sure you're subscribed. It's kind of funny to think that I'm just endlessly slaughtering every single creature in this game. There are a lot of monsters to kill in the town of Canifus. 20 werewolves pretending to be citizens in total. Time for genocide. <laughs> And that, my friends, is how you wipe out a town. Right, Sparky? Good boy. Got some weird cave goblin guards down in the city of Dorgish Khan. And this dude. Don't know what he's doing. Looks like someone's been munching on the ogle root. Seriously, why is this lady so squished? She looks like a little Oompa Loompa. What in tarnation? In the stronghold of security, there are a total of 30 monsters that have a loot table. And yes, there are two more scorpion variants in here. Luckily, it didn't take long to get the head. And then we have Colonel Radic and his guard and Yanil. Telly grabbing some Joger bones. That's gotta be a world first. All right, starting off this session with a Chaos Golem for number 385. When will this end? Elemental Workshop NPCs for number 400. He dropped a rock. Not sure if that counts, but we'll count it. Couple archer guards hiding up here in Ardoin Castle. Renegade Knight, Sir Mordred. More little scorpions on Apatol Island. Level 42 White Knight with green hair. Here's one of the more interesting things I found on this a little adventure. There's only one NPC that drops loot in Tolna's dungeon after the quest, and that is the rat. Here we are in Tarn's Lair, which is going to be the worst place that I have come across by far. What is this? Steel studs? Bro, there's six of them. Ugh. Okay, we're finally at the bottom of the list. 31 through 40. Another hour and a half on the books. The exhaustion and mind numbing of this is starting to set in. This level 42 goblin guard has to be woken up for him to attack you. Let's see what he drops. 
coins and bones. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Just, just uh, move on. Here's the level 45 guardian of Armadale that you meet in the Temple of Icop quest. That's right. We're being extra thorough. I'm not going to cover every single one in this video because that would just take way too long. I don't want to just read the names, but I do have a spreadsheet in the description of this video if you want to see the full list and the order of which I killed things. One of the issues I ran into was these vampire juvenates. To kill these, you have to use the special attack on the blister with pull, but as you can see, he turns into gas and disappears. There's a chance that they turn into a person, but then they give you an item. It doesn't show up on the loot tracker. There is a small chance that they can die. What that chance is, I have no idea. So we're gonna have to try this until we can get them to die. It just seems like I can't quite get this to work. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'm following exactly what the wiki says. Oh, there we go. Oh, it doesn't count. Took like 50 tries. Next up, had to get those gangs in Karen to spawn and then go find them. I am still banking all of the loot this entire time, by the way. Ah, oh, the lobsters are gone. Those green little lobsters. Okay, here it is, the highest level creature of creation, the Jubster. It is three by three, so Scythe is best in slot. Do what you will with that information. Moving on to the myth skill. I was already here anyways for a baby dragon, but may as well kill all of the dragons that I can find. They have every variant and every baby dragon variant as well. Close by, we also have the Ogress Warrior and the Ogress Shaman. Has anyone ever wondered what a wall beast looks like? At long last, we have finally hit number 500 monsters killed. I have played RuneScape for a very long time. I've never once killed a Molinus. Speaking of other NPCs you'd never kill normally, how about this Ice Lord or the Killer Watts in Draenor Manor, Sore Bones on Harmony Island, the Moger with Flippers, this Undead One from Shiloh Village Quest. There are so many strange NPCs in this game. I have to come out all the way over here just to kill a level 72 wolf. And after wiping out nearly every troll in the troll stronghold and its vicinity, banking the loot the entire time, I quickly cleaned up the city of Tazar, then moved on to all the ice troll variants found in the Fremnic region. Apparently you can't go into this exit after the Fremnic Isles quest, but if you go over to the west side after the quest, you can enter the cave again. Next was a couple lighthouse Dagonoths, three different little mushroom boys, which puts our total Total time for all the low level NPCs at 13 hours and 9 minutes. Somehow I've managed to get through all of the 70s. We're probably like a third of the way done, realistically. Funny you say that you were thinking about doing this. Solo Mission messaged me like a couple months ago. Wait, no, no, he didn't. Yeah, and he goes, yeah, not nah, too long for me. It was only now that the weight of Evie's warning was starting to set in. What had I really gotten myself into? Oh, a rune kite shield. That's got to be the best drop I've received so far. I haven't shown many of them because most of them are just bones. Now that we're getting into the higher level monsters, the loot should be much better. There's one NPC that I need to cook a Karambuan poisoned and then grind it up, put it on a spear. There's the Shaikahan. Don't ask me how to spell that. Skeleton mages from the Swan Song quest. They're still here. That appears to be the wrong gang boss. I forgot there's two different versions. Aha, there she is. Big old snake. Literally, his name is Big Snake. It's a two by two. Number 600, which means we're getting close to what Eviescape got to. Use the fire spell on this mummy, and now it is flaming. Sadly, it did not count on the loot tracker. I'm not sure why. Armored zombies starting to get pretty high up there in the combat levels. I even tried Ents to see if they would be counted. And chopping didn't work either, so guess we'll have to move on. Got a couple spiders that venom you in the cave north of sleep. Hey, nice! Some room plate legs. Why am I getting excited about that? 57k loot. Just how much will we have by the end of this video? Maybe I'll make a post and whoever gets the closest guess will win a prize. There we are, the final fire watch. Let's make sure I actually can pick up the loot and doesn't go in the ocean. 
clawing out a wall of sake. Nothing else to see here. Few NPCs to find in the Waterbirth dungeon. Searched high and low for this damn zombie right here. The level 90 zombie. I swear, if there's another zombie in this stupid lair, I'm gonna be so mad. Experiment number two beneath the witch's house. It's shrinking time. Let's get in the hole. I have no idea if this rat's gonna count. Yeah, it didn't count, sad. At least the loot is big. That is the biggest cave bug I've ever seen. I didn't even know they make them this size. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, sir. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't realize you were tagging that one. I think that's another good session. Two hours and four minutes added to the time. Now I'm on your roof. Gargoyle. Greater Neck Reel, Water Fiend, and Dark Beast. That takes care of all of the Ironworth dungeon. Seriously, does anyone actually go here? Hey, thank you. All right, next we're going to tackle the Ancient Cavern. Aha! Now that's how you get the Ancient Page. There's a few monsters that can spawn when you rummage these skeletons, and I'm going to need to get all of them. It's a 50% chance for the bones object, and it spawns either a skeleton heavy or a hero. Finally, there it is, the skeleton hero. I just spent like 20 minutes hopping worlds to get this. Last but not least in the ancient cavern, a mithril dragon. And that loot is not bad either. Rune battle axe, some dragon bones. Let's not forget the tar monster in the swamp. No one actually kills these. They just kind of annoy you when you're woodcutting. Since we're on Fossil Island, we have a couple wyverns to get. All three variants, plus the big ancient wyvern torture gorilla demonic gorilla hold up gotta run through these tunnels these are the uh the east of uh do chins here is it me or just scythe kind of shredding on iron dragons this is unexpected we got one kill will we get the dragon warhammer not today 692 monsters and another 52 minutes. Boys, the dream. Imagine, imagine a free-for-all item. I haven't even looked at the loot tab yet. I've been saving it till the end. I have no idea how many monsters are left, but we've got to be getting close. I think this is it. This is 700. No grats this time, people. We're not done yet. We are officially in uncharted territory. Big loot haul here. 92k. Steel dragon. Adamant dragon. And last but not least, a runite dragon. That concludes every monster in in the game. At least, all the easy ones. But little did I know, we were barely halfway through. Four categories of monsters remain. All of these will take a significant amount of time. Next up, every boss in RuneScape. First of the bosses is gonna be none other than the giant mole. Oh, and take a look at the new meta. It's using the shadow and max mage. Tebow is out the window, cannon out the window. This is because the shadow can splash instead of hitting a zero, meaning you're not procking the hits needed for the mole to start using his dig ability. Deranged archeologist. Don't think I need to talk about this guy. Dagonoth Supreme, Dagonoth Rex, and 59 air talismans from Dagonoth Prime. Let's see, what do we get from Seracnus? Another pet? Nope. bro. It's a collection log. <laughs> it's gonna skew the results of this challenge, but I'll take it. Kill number 744. All that's left now for the bosses section is just the awakened variants. Let's see if I can afford some orbs and if they buy, then I'll do some attempts. For now, let's turn our attention to the weird and unknown monsters in RuneScape. Okay, finally banked everything to get on Entrana and kill this Firebird level 2. I tried killing this Jubbly outside of Rant's cave, but it didn't count because you have to pluck before you get the loot. Chompy Bird works the same way, so sadly that doesn't count either. Yo, we actually found something. Turns out all the underground pass NPCs disappear after Song of the Elves. Yes, it was worth it. 
We got one more kill. We also checked out the pest control to see if we would get any drops or if it would count for the plugin. Sadly, none of them worked. Some of the ones that did work were the Warrior's Guild animated armor. However, I'm not going to include any of this armor in the loot pile for obvious reasons. Next, I went to Taibo and I clean up to get the Brutu victim, the snake, the spider and the mosquitoes. Our hunt for every monster even took us under the sea for a level 30 and 31 mudskipper, as well as a level 21 and 23 crab. I also learned that genies can't breathe underwater, and after picking up these lobstrosities beneath Fossil Island, I made my way to the Shazian Arena to take down all of these soldiers. And honestly, I didn't even need to kill these because their drops are untradeable anyways. But hey, number go up. And I bet by now you're probably thinking, Ingus, how can there possibly be any more monsters to kill in this game? Surely I've looted all of them by now. But you see, there are a couple things you might not even have remembered. Number one, nightmare zone. I think the best way to tackle this is set up an endurance mode. You get to kill one of every boss monster. And since it's going to take forever to get through them all, and I don't have that much inventory space, I think the play is to just write down all the loot that they drop and buy it from the GE later. In total, there are 30 monsters that have a tradable drop, and you can multiply this by two because there's also the hard versions of them. So after I finished an entire game of endurance mode, I went to the GE, bought every single drop that appeared in my loot tracker from those NPCs, went back for the harder mode, and did the exact same thing. This put our total monster kill count up to 831. Even then, you'd be surprised to find that there were still more NPCs that we have not killed yet that are lootable, namely Zalcano and the level 64 golem that sometimes spawns during a game, the shade catacombs underneath the town of Morton, bringing our total kill count up to 837, but we were not finished yet because we still needed the undead zealot level 34 that spawns from opening the keys. Okay, really quick, it turns out that the SGS is pretty useful for the new Colosseum. I'm going to sell it and see how much we can get. <laughs> Yo, okay. A nice little 33 mil bonus. Next on our list was the monsters that are found in Temple Trekking. There's three different variants of each monster. And for some reason, the ghasts in this minigame actually count for the loot tracker. I tried the other ones outside in the Mortmire Swamp, but those ones didn't work. I thought the Swamp Snakes would work, but unfortunately, it's kind of the same thing as the Chompy Birds. You have to skin them after they are dead to get the drop, so... Yeah, those don't count either. Take a look, more shades, as well as some giant snails. The combat level of each monster depends on which route you decide to choose. And let me tell you, this was extremely annoying. The amount of resets I had to do in order to spawn the right event took forever. After that, we had three NPCs to kill in Soul Wars. I tried killing the bosses, but those don't have any drops, so they didn't count. Speaking of bosses, there were a couple I have yet to kill, and that was, of course, the Nightmare, my old friend. And let me tell you, it's been a while. I got chanced so many times on this kill, and as you know, if you're soloing the regular Nightmare, it takes like 15 minutes, so kind of stressful for this one. But we got it on the first try. Up next was Fosani's Nightmare, which thankfully was a bit faster of a kill and we didn't die. By this point, there are only two more categories of monsters remaining. And up next, the wilderness. Oh dear, we are back to this. What is a level 23 Monk of Zamorak doing this deep? I ran all the way out here just for that. There's a ton of monsters in the wilderness that have a chance to drop the looting bag, and that is their only drop, so I'm going to make the number go up again, even though it won't really affect the loot traded at the end, but I'm just curious to see how many monsters we can kill. Not another case of the chompy bird. Chaos Ellie without summer pies is actually terrible. I am not leaving until this is dead. <laughs> A dragon 2H? No way, bro. Okay, he's, he's friendly. He's friendly. No peak cares here. These lava dragons look different. I think they got a reskin. All right, well, that trip was much better loot. If this doesn't mean thorough, then I don't know what does because we are in the wildy escape caves from the other demi bosses. Fun fact, these poison spiders don't drop a single thing. Not even a looting bag. Time to clear the wilderness slayer cave. There we go. 
All done. Starting to doubt the wiki. Apparently, it is only a one in three to get a wildy bag from these little spiders. But I've been here for quite a bit uh, longer than a one in three. That's for sure. Oh, thank God it's real. I was starting to doubt myself there. I'm not gonna lie, most of this is just me going for the looting bag chance. I'm pretty sure there's one battle mage we can kill at least. A couple bonus monsters I went for were the Mage Arena 2 Cape Guardians. They counted, but unfortunately the drops are untradeable. Come on, Scorpia, give me something big. I almost forgot these little scorpions as well. Next up is all the wilderness bosses. Usually this would be kind of a pain to find worlds or run into PKers, but everyone is at the Colosseum right now. Vedion and Calvarion were a nice surprise because I forgot he had some skeletal hellhounds that also can be killed. All right, this one I'm okay with spooning. Give me the pet. Can't be forgetting about the OG, the King Black Dragon. And yes, that is correct. We have passed 900 monsters. Last but least, the final section of the wilderness is the Rev Caves. Personally, I dislike this place. It's always filled with real players, totally legit players. But I powered through and killed every single type of Revenant. There are 11 Revenants in total, plus the Demi Boss. There's a small chance for him to spawn after killing a Revenant. So the plan here is to just chill out and wait for the boss to spawn. Oh, there it is. This is our chance. Okay, it's uh, it's already below half health. I don't think this is gonna count as our kill. After the boss is killed, the chance is reset and the boss is prevented from appearing for another 45 minutes. Ugh. Yes, I was the first one here. Okay, this is should be in the bag. Ah, uh, son of a bitch. Okay, well, this guy, surely we've done a lot of damage. There's no way he's gonna... Come on, bro. This same guy would go on to snipe five of my kills in five other worlds. Come on, Jagex. Something fishy going on here. All right, no more Mr. Nice Guy. Oh, that is a nope. That is a nope. My new plan is just wait in this cave, and hopefully he spawns. This is going to be a long wait, but I'm ready. That's a nope. That's a nope. The boss has spawned. Please. Fuck dude it just spawned okay so 45 minutes from now come back in exactly 45 minutes we're not messing around anymore we got the clan rolling up oh it spawned hot up there it is hit anyone that attacks it <laughs> i hope this doesn't backfire Bruh. i guess i'm tanking someone now while i kill this All right, I think I did enough damage. As long as I can see it, then I'm good. There we go. Look at that, another collection log. I'm just gonna leave the loot, honestly. I have it in the loot tracker. We logged out, boys. <laughs> we got it, we got the kill. Luckily, I know exactly what the loot is, so we'll just add that to the loot tab. <laughs> 907 monsters killed with only one section remaining. Superiors, the rarest monsters you can encounter in RuneScape. Now I'm already 31 hours deep into the challenge, and this entire time I knew it would come down to this. I'm sure most of you know how rare these are. But in case you need a refresher, first you have to talk to a Slayer Master to get a task. Then when you're on task, it's a one in 200 chance to spawn a superior. Just how many superiors are there? 31. Not only will I have to use multiple Slayer Masters to get all of them, but I'll have to go through a bunch of Slayer tasks that have nothing to do with this challenge just for the chance at getting one. I mean, it's no wonder Eviescape skipped these entirely in his video. And that's it. That's every monster in old school RuneScape. Just leave me a comment and call. It is madness to even consider doing. <laughs> Anyway, I start Slash. Slash. Devil's back. right off the bat. Okay, perfect. Also, I didn't forget the Slayer bosses. We will be tackling these as well. The Repugnant Spectre, first superior of the down. Quick little rune dragon task. May as well do these for the points. What's next, Konar? Adamant dragons. The reason I'm starting with Konar Slayer first is because we need to get a Hydra task. And Kraken also has a pretty high rating. Calphite in the Calphite cave. That is a straight up skip. During the Slayer grind, there's also a couple NPCs that you can encounter from doing clue scrolls. Ceridome and Wizard is down. Not expecting anything from a hard clue. Yep, that's what I thought. Oh, it's a big jelly. Virtuous warp jelly. 
has arrived. Hellhounds in the Stronghold Slayer dungeon. I can't do Cerberus with this task, so unfortunately, I'm gonna have to skip this one. Well, that's a skip. Skip, Curass, that's got a superior. Let's go do that. I have a secret. This is the first time I've ever done this task. <laughs> Ah, uh, no superior. Okay, we will try again. Oh, yes, yes, yes. We got the double agent. Yes. Okay, we needed this guy. 921 monsters killed. Yes. Okay, I think the hard clues are completed on the NPCs. Somehow I missed the Chaos Fanatic earlier, so... There he is. Finally, a crack at task. Let's go. This guy is also task only, so we had to wait until now to kill him. And of course, we have the boss as well. All right, got to clean up this block list because we do need Drake's unblocked. Anything else? I don't think so. Oh, probably worms. I think there's a superior from them. Kraken, you're going back on the block list. It is way too high of a wait for me to deal with. Hey, there we go. Drake's. <gasps> we are so lucky, dude. Guardian Drake on the first task. This guy's got the defense of a tank. I'm literally not hitting. I hope uh, he doesn't kill me. Uh-oh. This is not looking good. <laughs> dude, kill him! Fuck, dude! Yeah, if you die, they despawn. So I just lost my chance at that Drake. <coughs> oh! <laughs> a Drake's Claw? Okay. That doesn't count for the loot tab, but I'm going to pick that up. Wait, what? <laughs> Another one? All right, what's next? What's next? Nice. Smoke devils. Okay, redemption. The big dong has spawned. We got it, boys. We got it. Hey, look what's next real. We got the alts going to make this a lot smoother. First time trying it. I'm a fan. There he is. The necriarch. Up to 929. I'm a little scared. Dark beast. Okay, we, we could do those even if they're in the Ironworth dungeon. Got to be very careful here. I'm cross-checking my loot tracker to make sure I'm only trading over stuff that I get from the actual monsters killed. Well, that's another dark beast task in the bag. I'm probably up to like 60 now. Dagonoths. <sighs> Don't know if I want to spend the points on this. I knew it was coming up. I was hoping it would be part of the other video, the big long camping video. I guess I'll just put this in the clip. Stop trolling me. Okay, it warms it is. Dude, what is with these drops today? Hey, there it is. We found it, boys. We found the worm, the shadow worm. And this is exactly why I need some slayer points because worms back on the block list. 98 points. We better get something good here. Please, please, Hydras. Nope. Ah, we still need the gargoyle. Dude. <laughs> we got a superior, the marbled gargoyle. I'm not dying to this one. Here she is, the 931st kill. All right, let's see what we got here. Come on. Hydras. Thoroths. Mm, I think I'm still missing Taroth. Yep, Spike Taroth. Yep, that's another superior. Okay. Another collection log. <laughs> this is fun. That's a bummer. I'm gonna have to do another task, but I mean, it was bound to happen. This is probably one of the better tasks for this to happen. That's a no. Big no. Just give me Hydra. Ah, oh, we're already done with Smoke Devils. Fuck it, dude. We're going. No. Ran out of points. I could, if I could have just gotten one more task for the bonus points. Oh, uh, not sure if anyone has ever tried this. Haven't seen anyone do. A set. Okay, yeah, I think this will work out for us, boys. This is not completely useless. I actually did need to get an elite clue to try and get the Bandos and Armadale guard left. Which one is it gonna be, Armadale or Bandos? Bandos it is. Oh, we lucked out. We got another step as well. So hopefully this is the Armadillion guard. Dang it, another Bandos one. Oh, well, we got the casket. A monocle. All right. So many collection logs this video. The task is complete. 570 tasks. We got a bonus of 100 points, giving us a total of 118. I'm barely staying afloat right now with all these skips. Bro, Iron Dragons. <laughs> they don't even drop elites. <laughs> Dr no, this is terrible. I need to unblock blood belts and then I need to cancel this task. Oh, bro, my points. No, okay, whatever, bro. I don't know why I can't find a single Hydra chest. As soon as I get Hydra, I can move on to Duradel, which is much better task. Okay, the Dagonauts are done. We got Bloodveld's next in the Mireditch Laboratories. I think I actually still need this one. Dust Devils in the sm I'm not doing that. Let's get rid of that. There's no way. Isle of Souls? No. We are down bad right now. We are 
down bad. I might have to say fuck my streak and just start turial skipping. Otherwise, this video is going to take a millennium. Okay, I cooled down. I finished the task AFK. Uh, let's see what we're working with. Back up to 48 points. Aberrant Spectres. Those are the regular ones, too. Okay, I, we do need that one. Well, no Abbey Superior. I guess we'll just keep going. Dark Beasts it is. Okay, let's turn my luck around. Let's go. Smoke Devils again. All right, well, that's going canceled. Water Fiends. <sighs> Please. Fuck off. Where's my Hydra Task? <sighs> I better get a superior from this. Not a single superior from that. Let's just, uh, back to this. Back to this, Konar, huh? Finally, a task I can do. Spike Turoth, yes, yes. I spent the last four hours without a single superior. Feels good to finally be making some progress. I am once again asking for a Hydra task, please. <laughs> Come on, please. No, we're back to 28 points. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck off. All right, I've dealt with this shit enough. Get me out of here. We've reset the streak. Fuck the streak. I don't care about the streak anymore. The this, this streak could suck my, my deep. Here's how Turiel skipping works in case you're unaware. If I get a task I don't like, I can talk to Turiel and he'll give me an easier task. Usually this consists of rats, cows, zombies. Almost all of these tasks can be done in a couple minutes with a cannon. Once that's done, we go back to our normal Slayer Master and get a new task, and then we repeat as many times as we want. The only downside is you don't get to farm any Slayer points or keep your streak, but we don't need those. All right, looks like there's no superiors on this task. What do we got next? Cow fights? Okay, well, that's a skip. No, I forgot I need- I forgot I have to have Cow fights blocked. You can't Turiel skip a task that is on the same list as Turiel's. Cow fights is the only one of that, and I'm supposed to have these blocked. Killing normal cow fights like I'm a level 62 guy in rune. Ugh, task only cave. Thank God I can cannon that. I'm gonna have to farm up some Slayer points to get 100 points to block cow fights. Otherwise, this literally won't work. Ah, <laughs> sigh of relief, we're done. Okay, we got the Hydra task. This is gonna be the last Konar task, I believe, that we need to do. First up, we need a boss kill. This is a task-only boss, so let's take care of this real quick. All right, up to 934 monsters killed. Nice, just got an elite clue. We're gonna go try for this Armadale guard. I really hope I get it here. Oh, no way. Literally the next step. I just did this step and went straight into this. Please, Armadale guard. Armadale guard. I know it's you. Yes. Okay, that takes care of the elite clues. I'm just missing the ancient wizards and the brassican mage from master clues. And then we're done with the clue scroll NPCs. We've we've killed all of them. I've been using the bracelet to slaughter the entire task and not a single superior. Tragic. We're going to have to get another one. I totally forgot. We didn't get the task yet. We're going to get the slayer cape. There's a 10% chance I can get the same exact task in a row. Here we go. It's all right. I actually do need the regular blood velds anyways. There's two separate blood veld superiors. Oh, it paid off, boys. It paid off. Insatiable blood veld is down. I swear, this task is so common for me. I don't know why I keep getting trolls. Whew, finally, the 10 task streak. We have 198 points, more than enough to block cow fights if I get it again. Okay, we could do this. Jellies, we still need the, the regular ones. Yes, there it is. The Virtuous Jelly. Another one for the books. I'm starting to get hope back just a little bit. Almost forgot I need to spend some points on Basilocked. That way we can get a Basilisk Knight task. We're in a good spot. I have 100 points in case I get cow fights. I think we're set up. It, it was rough because I didn't have things set up. And it was just kind of annoying. Banshees, I actually do need this. Thank you, Turiel. You're kind of helping me out at this point. So even though technically... <laughs> Yes, dude. Yes. What are the chances? Okay, expeditious going back on, I suppose. There we go. 938. Almost 300 dust devils. No superior. Sad. We continue on. This is certainly a new one. I'm glad I unlocked this because now we might get this taken care of in this task later on. But for now, I have dinner. Look, can't you tell it's been a long day? Ah, oh, no, I was AFK. That doesn't count. No way, dude. I've only been here for 20 minutes. Yes, the Basilisk Sentinel. 
Now that the Sentinel is dead, I can move on to the regular Basilisks. Oh, well, well, fellas. We have lucked out once again. Only 24 Basilisks left. Insatiable Mutated Bloodfeld. Check. Choke Devil. Check. Harry is getting bored out of his mind with how slow these drops are coming in. Okay, Abby Specters, we still need the regular ones. Hey, <laughs> would you look at that? Apparently, I didn't have a Mystic Row bottom on the collection log either. It is about time. I got another Hydra task. Please let this be the final task. Wait a sec. Is that the... <laughs> That's the unique right there. A Hydra Tail? Oh my... Finally, bro. Finally. It has been so long. So many Hydras have been slain. Almost double drop rate. <laughs> hey, <laughs> we got a drop too. This seems very bad that I'm just resetting this streak on the Hydra, but we got to do it. I'm not killing any Hydras today. Uh, maybe in the future. I think we got to take Abyssal Demons off. The rest of these we've already done. Hopefully we don't get something we can't skip. Now that we're using Duradil, I can get a Hellhound task and it's not locked to a certain area, meaning we can take down Cerberus. Abyssal Demons, yes. Okay, we can go do Sire. And then after that, we will hunt for the Superior. There's actually a couple NPCs we can pick up here. Number one, the Scions and the those little Abyssal creatures that spawn. And the drop is... 600 pure essence. Oh, look who just spawned. The greater abyssal demon. Hey, abyssal web. It's been a while since I've had one of these. Wait a sec. It's 1.8 mil now. I thought these were like 1.2. Uh, <laughs> Another Vorky spoon. Once again, common occurrence, it seems. Not sure who at Jagex is controlling that. Grats to Smelly Feller. Oh, that was fast. I, I just turned on the recorder. I was going to record something else, but there we go. We got the superior. Yes. Yes. We got it, boys. It's a big green man. Hellhounds going back on the block list. They're just way too common at Duradel. Oh, sandwich lady. Baguette. Come on. This. Ah, it's regular. No, no stale baguette today. Wait. <laughs> don't don't look at this rate don't look at the rate oh a little dragon impling i'm so glad i have the level for this now and i forgot to bring a jar cave horrors i think we still need that one we still need it still on the list 16 left on task and we have found the abominable cave horror right there <laughs> Okay, the cave horrors are done. Never have to do another task of these unless I'm going back for the black mask. Let's see what our next assignment. Why are these so common? We need warped reality. Yeah, let's buy this. Well, first of all, we should probably turn off Basilisk because we've already done both the Basilisks. Kiras. Okay, we actually need Kiras. Yes, there it is. There it is. The King Kiras. This is like pretty much the last one I need from Duradel beside for the Night Beast. Rune Long, Mithril Kite Shield, and some more bones. Classic. I'm going to spend my last 100 points and extend Dark Beast. It's been like 30 tasks since I got a Dark Beast task. So yeah, I just want to finish this up. It's my last one for Duradel. No more. Stop. Warped Creatures, 180. That is a nice amount. Mutated Terror Bird right off the bat. Let's fucking go this thing has a 20 second death animation there we are now we just need the warped tortoise hmm the venator bow was working great on the birds but i don't think it's gonna work on these tortoises might have to switch out my gear oh yeah scythe is way better <laughs> no way the timing is so good i was literally just like hinting that i was here don't ask me how I know. And then boom. Oh, we got another one. The Screaming Twisted Banshee. Not too bad of a grind. Only took 71 kills. And we're even walking out of this task with a new collection log. Mystic Gloves Dark. I had the wrong chat. I, we just got the warp tortoise, dude. Mutated tortoise. Look at him. Big bones, tortoise shell, and weapon poison. That's 956 monsters. Okay, we just needed a Dark Beast task and we can move on, hopefully. Yep, check my list. We are done with these. Ooh, cave crawlers. I actually still need this. It's still on the list. Yes. Dude, chasm crawler. Yes. 
50. What a productive day so far. 9.57. There we go. 9.57. Another collection logs. The bronze boots. Okay. Just need a Dark Beast task and then we can switch masters. Dark Beasts are the highest weighted monster that Duradel can assign. Oh okay, yeah, this is getting ridiculous. Do you see this? Do, 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 Look how many tasks I've skipped. Yes! Finally! Dark Beast. Oh my word. 114. Please, game. Give me the superior. Please. Yes! We got it! Oh god, I don't know how to kill it. I don't know how to kill it. Uh, holy. Just like Tekton. Come on, almost down. He has the defense of... I don't even know. We're gonna have to look this up later. <laughs> There's <laughs> that's not the drop. That's the drop. 368 coins. What's next? I need to figure out what Slayer Master I need to do now. At this point, there's only a couple more superior Slayer monsters that I was missing. Low-level mobs that can only be assigned by low-level Slayer Masters. And it looks like we're off to a great start. We need this task. He's purple! He's a purple boy! Ain't nobody using Mazkana as their Slayer Master if they have superiors unlocked already. 42 GP, Crandorian Seed, and Bones. Oh, sorry. It's Majna. What? Majna can't assign the monsters that I need, so we're switching to Vanica. Pyre feeds. Perfect. That's what we need. That's actually one of the tasks we need. Yes. Yes. Dude, the Infernal Pyre Lord. Unfortunately, we're not completely done. We still need another variant of the Pyre Fiend. As you can notice, there's two different ones here. Flaming Pyre Lord and Infernal Pyre Lord. We need some rock slugs. We're still missing rock slug, Pyre Lord, and Malevolent Mage. 126 rock slugs down. We have not gotten a superior yet. Woohoo! We're completing the boot collection on the log. There we go. Iron boots. We're back at the Pyre Fiends. Look how many tasks I've had to skip. That puts us up to 234 Pyre Fiends destroyed. Uh, it's, I put in a solid... <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 wait, infernal mages. I, I need that one. Be honest, have any of you done an infernal mage task? I don't think so. Behold, we have the malevolent mage spawn. We got it, boys. We got it. First infernal mage task. Yet again, this has got to be one of the rarest monsters you can encounter in RuneScape. Oh, there's the big mama, giant rock slug encountered. Last one again. It's probably not going to spawn. Yep, we got to do another task. Yes, yes, the Slayer Guide, it's over. It's over. Yes, I don't know what to say. It's been so long, man. Okay, all the superiors are destroyed. Oh, crossing it off the list. There we go. With the superiors done, the only thing I had left to do was to grind out some clue scrolls and hopefully get the last NPCs we needed, the Brassican Mage and the Double Agent level 141. All right, 965 monsters. Any bonus prize from the casket? Ah, never. All right, this list is gonna be as good as it gets. There might be some mistakes, but at the moment, this is as best as I can do. Now it's time to take a look at what you guys are interested in the most. Harry is officially off the clock. I've been trading this man the entire time throughout this challenge. Let's see what's in the bank. All right, here it is, all our hard work. As you'll notice, there are a ton of bones. And yes, 60,000 GP from every single drop all those little twos and threes. Let's see, what can we find in here? Most of this, honestly, is a bunch of junk. Now we're starting to get some rune items, some different colored bones. <laughs> yeah, the Sarah Hilt. I, I still need to add that cash in here in a sec. 69 gold ore. Hey, we even got a dragon 2H. Oh, and some new wormling bones. Oh, we also got a missed battle staff. I forgot about that. We killed so many superiors. The sheer amount of bones, though, is, is crazy. This is so many bones. But hey, uh, we've killed everything. We've killed every single creature. Time to trade over the cash from the SGS. And now, the moment you've been waiting for. The grand total of loot from every monster. <laughs> 2.86 mil. Now we have 36.6 mil. I'll admit that's a little bit better, but... <laughs> 
This is not worth it at all. But hey, this is more of a science project than anything. Now we know the answer. We gotta load all these comments from these posts first, and then I'm gonna try searching. <laughs> this is the total. Who's the closest now? Oh dear. Anyone closer? Well, that, yeah, it's gotta be the closest. Wait a sec. This guy's literally right on the money. Sorry, Alec. Boom. Harrison Kinder 2147 is the closest. Hopefully he replies to my comment and we will get him sorted out. And time. 91 hours, 23 minutes, and 46 seconds. I've killed every single lootable monster in RuneScape. Was this madness even worth it? Well, I'd love to give you an answer, but... I lied. If you somehow can pull this off, just might find what it is you're looking for. Four monsters remain. I'm afraid we have some unfinished business. God help me.